Welcome to Electron Online. In most circumstances, in simple straightforward circumstances where we're dealing with a constant or uniform electric field between, for example, two capacitor plates or two metal plates with charge on them a certain distance apart, we can then say that if we move in the direction of the field, and that's important, if we move in the direction of the field, the difference in the voltage between where we started and where we end up wherever that may be, it may be a partial distance between the plate, it may be the entire distance between the plate, it doesn't matter, this is always correct. The difference in the potential or the difference in the voltage between those two points is going to be equal to the work that it takes to move a charge, let's say from point A to point B, if this is point A and this is point B, then the work it takes to move a charge between those two points in the direction of the field, so parallel to the field like this, then we take that and we divide it by the charge. So let's say that we have a small charge here and we move it from A to B. Then the work done to move the charge divided by Q can be defined as, of course, work is force times distance. So we can write this as force times distance divided by Q. And force in electric field can be defined as the strength of the field times the charge times, of course, still D, all divided by Q, and when the Qs then cancel out, we have the strength of the field times the distance. So in other words, the change in the potential, the difference in the potential, will be equal to the strength of the field times the distance that we traveled. And this is assuming that the electric field is uniform and assuming that we're moving in the direction of the field. Now, of course, if you move from the negative to the positive, then the potential will go up. If you move from the positive to the negative, then the potential will go down. So in other words, this is low potential, so low voltage, and this is high voltage. Another thing you can look at is realizing that if you move in the same direction of the electric field, you will go from high potential to low potential. If you move in the opposite direction of the electric field, you will go from low potential to high potential. If you hang on to those concepts, you'll have a good basis to work from whenever you're dealing with potential in electric fields or voltage in electric fields. And that's how we know.